The Long Night by Catherine Smetherman Narrated by Claire Mansell Prologue Come on, Madeline, you're coming. You have 31 minutes to get ready or you're going in your pajamas. Her best friend Katie said, standing in front of the TV she was trying to watch. Why 31 minutes? Why not 30? Madeline asked pausing the Vampire Diaries. She was on season 3 on Netflix and didn't want to leave to go out to some club with Katie. Besides, clubs were so not her thing. She was more of the stay at home and watch TV or read a good book type. Because, I'm taking pasta that takes 17 minutes to make and has to sit for 5 minutes to thicken, then about 3 minutes to cool off enough for me to eat, then 5 minutes to eat it, then 1 minute extra because I'm nice. But you just made us waste a minute talking, Katie explained, rolling her bright blue eyes and flipping her blonde hair. Fine, fine, I'll get dressed, but I'm only doing some mascara and eyeshadow. I'm not doing a bunch of makeup, she said to Katie, who wore enough makeup for five people, even though she was beautiful without it. Madeline walked to her bedroom and looked in her closet, trying to find something to wear. Her closet was mostly filled with school clothes, she didn't like going out especially going out to drink, but if that's what Katie wanted to do, she would do it. She found a black skater skirt with a black crop top and a pair of Vans, not wanting to wear heels. She walked into the bathroom and looked at herself in the mirror. The skirt showed off her toned legs and the crop top showed off her flat stomach in curves. It was one of her favorite outfits. She out on some light makeup, eyeshadow and mascara to show off her green eyes, and some light pink lip gloss over her pouty lips. She heated up her straightener and started to straighten her dark brown hair. It was almost black, her hair was naturally a lighter brown, but the darker color really made her eyes pop. Your time is up, Mads. Wow, you look good, Katie said, standing in the doorway of the bathroom. Thanks, I just have to finish my hair and brush my teeth and I'm ready, she replied. Thirty minutes later they were standing at the bar of a loud, overcrowded club, Club Spark. A really cliché name, at least, she thought so. What can I get you? The tall, handsome bartender asked. Two margaritas and two double shots of tequila, Katie yelled over the music. No, 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 I am not having any shots, Maddie said to her friend. Come on, just one, you never drink and it's my birthday, I can't drink alone, we're taking a cab home. It will be fine, Katie assured. Sighing, Maddie nodded. Fine, but just one, she agreed. When their shots arrived, she downed her double shot, had a coughing fit, and then sipped her strawberry margarita. An hour, three shots and two margaritas each later, both girls were drunk and on the dance floor of the club, dancing together. Then suddenly, Maddie felt a pair of strong, muscular arms wrap around her. She turned around to see who it was, and was surprised to see a handsome guy. I'm Jude, he yelled over the music. Maddie, she yelled back with a smile as they continued to dance together. The next morning Maddie woke up to the sun shining in her eyes and something heavy pressing on her stomach. She opened her eyes, but regretted it as the sun hurt her eyes, she was definitely hungover. The room she was in didn't look familiar, and she definitely did not usually sleep without her clothes on. Someone moved beside her and she saw a man, yes a man. A handsome man, but that didn't make it any less shocking. She looked on the floor next to the bed and saw her clothes from last night and the guy's jeans, t-shirt and a leather vest that he was Chapter 1 What does it say? Katie asked, standing over by the bathtub, watching Maddie stand in front of the sink, looking at the three pregnancy tests she had taken five minutes ago. Positive. All of them, she whispered. Oh my gosh, that's... Katie paused. You have to tell him, she said. What? No, are you crazy? He is a criminal, Maddie said, rolling her eyes at the suggestion. He probably won't even care, she said. Maddie, if he doesn't care, then he's not worth it your time. You have to tell him though, it's his baby too, and his responsibility too. Do you know where he lives? I'll drive you there, Katie said. Fine, kind of by the cafe on 13th, I'll know the house, but I don't know the address, she said. They both got dressed and drove to his house. At the chain-link fence that was wrapped around the large property, a guy in a vest exactly like Jude stood. He walked over to the open car window and leaned in. Who are you here for? He asked, giving Katie a flirty smile. She blushed. 
Jude, Maddie said, interrupting their flirt fest. Jude, he asked, looking confused. Then it seemed to dawn on him. Oh, Jude, hold on, he said, going back over to the gate. He opened it and motioned them through and told them to park in the gravel driveway then locked the gate behind them after they drove in. This must be the headquarters, or clubhouse or whatever, Katie said. Thanks, I hadn't figured that out, Maddie said sarcastically, rolling her eyes. They got out of the car and followed the guy inside the house. What's your names? I'm Maddie, she's just here with me, I'm the one who needs to see him, Maddie said, nervously. Okay, wait right here, he said, leaving them alone in a living room type area while he went to go look for Jude. It was about two minutes later, they heard voices and footsteps coming down the hall. I don't know, she just is asking for you, calling your Jude, says her name is Maddie, he said right before they turned the corner. Jude looked at her for a second before nodding to the other guy to leave. Madeline, he said with a small smile. Shocked that he remembered her name, she nodded a little. See can we talk, she asked softly. He nodded. Yeah, we can go up to my room, he said. Maddie looked over at Katie. I'll be right back, she whispered, before following Jude upstairs. So, it's nice to see you again, since you left before I woke up.